So let me just give you a demo first of all of the difference here on exercise four. So in essence, it's exactly the same exercise that we just did, but we're alternating between the notes of the major scale, which we covered right at the start, and then the bass note in the thumb, which begins to give us this finger style sound. That sound that we all love if you're this far into this video. This must be something that you're interested in, uh, but it can really step up the difficulty. So what do we want to watch out for? Well, as I say, speed isn't anywhere near as important as getting everything even. Everything here should be at an evenly spaced pace. After that, really listen out to the quality of the notes and make sure the quality and sound is even. And we don't have some notes being really loud and some notes not being heard. Uh, before moving on. And if that's not happening yet, um, with this one, you really want to peg it back to one of the easier ones and have another run up to the harder exercises in this one. So this will be the last one of this particular video where we alternate the thumb and we're having the thumb on the offbeat and the major scale on the beat. So to walk you through this one more time, we play the first note of the G major scale at the highest note first. Then we hit the thumb. Then we're going to hit the first finger, playing the second fret. The chord is still down and we hit the thumb again. So we've played four notes. One, two, three, four. It is then the open string and the thumb, and the little finger, then at the string below, so on string two, played by finger two. And that should sound like this. Okay. La, 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 la. One, and two, and three, and four, and. is what we're working towards. 